what is going on everybody welcome back to a brand new pokemon tcg live video this time around we're gonna go ahead and jump straight to it we're playing a garatina v star deck of course we're gonna jump into the deck details shortly um and by shortly i mean by the end of the video but this deck has been very very fun to play i didn't get to play this deck when it first came out um, so I missed out on the <laughs> Garatina meta. This deck is really, really good even now against Chin Pao decks. I was playtesting before I hit the record button and I had a lot of success with this deck. Um, and I'm very excited to showcase it with you guys. Now we get the call to the coin flip. Let's see if we can get the tells. Nope. Unfortunately, tells fails. So let's see. I really want to see what my opponent starts with. The best case scenario for us specifically is going to be um, to start off with the with the Comfy. Comfy would be the best. There we ha the, we have one of them, and we also have the Battle uh, VIP pass, which is which is really good. So we're gonna start with the Comfy. We don't have any switch cards, um, but we'll see what the first turn looks like. Nest Ball will ultimately let us get the Garatina V Star. I don't know if I want to get a Garatina V Star right off the bat. Because I really want to set up my board with Confi first. Maybe a Cramorant. And then start hitting my opponent for 110 with the Cramorant. So, with my opponent's first Pokemon, we got a Galarian Moltres. So, that tells us we're playing a Darkness deck. And the Dark Rai V solidifies that. So this is going to be a very fun game. I don't think I've personally gone against a Dark Rai V deck. So we'll see. They're wasting their hand right off the bat. Oh, Squabilly EX, that's why. Actually, that's a very good card to have, not even going to lie. This is a card that you can only use at the beginning. And by the beginning, your first turn. Battle VIP pass, they're going to set up another Galarian Moltres and Radiant um, Greninja. Radiant Greninja is really good in Darkness decks because of the Darkness patch. Or the Dark patch. Galarian Moltres. There's the Dark patch just like we talked about. They're going to attach it to the Dark Rai V. And Dark Rai V can be very dangerous if we allow my opponent to, to get set up right away. All they need is two darkness energy with the dark rai v and then of course the dark rai v star and then they can hit us with damage so we got to be very careful this next turn the good news is that we got the battle vip the oh, i don't know why i can't talk it's probably because it's late at night but the battle vip pass we don't even need to use the nest ball on that which is actually really really nice let's go ahead and scout to see what we got in the prize pool so with this here, we got our Cramorant in the prize pool, which is not cool. We're going to have to use the Hisuian Heavy Ball. We got one Garatina V-Star in the, in the pool as well. Oh no, we got the other one in our hand. Um, let's see what we got. I believe we got an Ultra Ball. Yep, we got one Ultra Ball in there. And then a couple of Nest Balls. And a couple of energy from what I see. So because of this, we're going to go ahead and just get the Radiant Greninja. We're going to set up our Battle VIP Pass. And we're just going to go ahead and bring these two Comfy out. And we're going to set up a board with one Sableye. Now obviously this energy isn't going to do very much for us at least right now. So we're going to Concealed Cards. We got the Psychic Energy, which is actually not bad. I was actually hoping for that. From here, um, do I got a Coralist? I don't. So Porter cards are very important right now, I feel like at least. So we're going to go ahead and bring this to hand. And then from here, our best bet is going to bring in, not bring in, but power up our uh, Giratina V. Floorless experiment, of course, is going to allow us to do a couple more things. So we want to get this in hand. We might not even mind the Manaphy going into the Lost Zone. Um, Comfy is going to have to go in there, but the two energy cards are very crucial. I'm only running six of each of these two energy cards. So it's uh, very important that we have these cards. And that's going to call for turn. Now, from here, thinking of head, I think the best thing I can do, I don't mind discarding another psychic energy with the Radiant Greninja. 
And we do want to evolve a Garatina V to a Garatina V Star. My opponent has now, uh, they, they now have two Darkness Energy on this Darkrai. So what this means is my opponent can potentially evolve the Darkrai. Trekking Shoes. We have a Darkrai B deck of ourselves or of our own. I really need to go to sleep. <laughs> so excuse me, my English is a little bit choppy right now. Uh, my language in general. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and see the switch. That means that Darkrai is going to come out. We're going to see a Wind of Darkness for 50 damage towards the Comfy, which I honestly don't mind so much. What I really wish I had right now was a Cramorant, and we're only running one Cramorant, I believe. One Cramorant. I can be running two. I don't even remember right now. Okay, so Professor's Research is going to be a thing for my opponent. Oh, is that right? What is this? Scar, three hands. That's what it does. Okay. I don't even know what Serena does, to be honest with you. Okay. Dark Pulse is going to knock us out. That's very good for my opponent and very bad for us for obvious reasons. Now, before we can get the Sableye going, we need to have at least uh, 10, right? Yeah, 10 cards in the Lost Zone. We have three of them. With this Comfy that I'm about to put into play, it's going to be four. And let's see what else we got. Honestly, I wouldn't mind last vacuuming um, and then getting rid of the EXP share. That also adds one additional card to our... Um, uh, to our lost zone we're gonna go ahead and conceal the cards here grab the two switch cart is really good we don't gotta bench the sableye for now we're okay with keeping that in hand we're gonna go ahead and grab this next and for obvious reasons we're gonna go ahead and bring in a second comfy flower selecting again i don't mind that going out and we're gonna evolve this and then um that's ultimately gonna call for turn for now we're going to need the grass energy, and as of right now, I do regret letting that go. So, um, next turn, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to let this Comfy go down. I'm going to bring in my other Comfy, and then see what I can get. This next turn is going to determine the outcome of this match. I really, really, really need to get rid of this Dark V star. I don't mind using a Star Requiem, but I'm obviously going to need um, a grass energy. And I'm hoping that we can pull it with the Radiant Greninja or this Comfy here, because this one is going to go down. Now, if they have a boss's orders, that's big trouble for us. Very big trouble. I really hope they don't have uh, boss's orders. Ultra Ball. I don't, I don't have an idea of what they're going to get, to be honest. Maybe another Darkrai. But what's nice about Darkrai is that Darkrai does 30 more damage for each Darkness energy uh, to all Pokemon, including this one. So from here, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and that's 210. That's some pretty good damage from a Darkrai V-Star, if you ask me. With the way my opponent got set up, it's, it's really nice. I'm ready to go down here. I really am, and I'm actually looking forward to this next turn, because this next turn is going to determine a lot of things. So Clara's going to happen. They got one energy, so they can get one energy, and from what I saw, I think they got an energy and the Moltres, and that is ultimately correct. Got rid of one of the um, Dark Ride V-Star here. So that's actually very interesting. Of course, we're going to stick to plan, bring in the Comfy here. And um, unfortunately, we don't get the grass energy that we were looking for. So we'll see if this works out for us. We get a Floorless Experiment, which might actually serve us well. And um, I'm okay not grabbing the Ultra Ball here. Iono is going to be valuable later down the road. And we still don't get it, do we? This is actually good. Very, very good. Um, let's see. I think the boss's orders is kind of valuable for us. We already have an Iono in hand, so I don't mind getting rid of that. What I do mind, I actually don't mind the switch cart so much. So that's actually good for us. We're going to get rid of that, and that places over um, 7, nearly 10. So we're going to Mirage Gate. We're going to bring in these two energy cards. Bring this in, and we're going to do some pretty good damage. We got a switch cart right here anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch 
I'm going to save the switch cart for now. We're going to go ahead and hit the uh, path to the peak. I feel comfortable not using my Greninja because I feel really good about the board that we have set ourselves up with. We're going to go ahead and bring in another Sableye, attach the energy card for us, and I feel really good about Star Requiem here. Oh, wait a minute. Why can't I use it? It's not letting me click, is it? It's been doing that. Oh, it's because 10 more. 10 or more, and we're not there yet. So in this case, I'm okay hitting the Lost Impact. We're gonna have to get rid of two energy cards, and I'm okay getting rid of this, and I'm okay getting rid of one of these. So we're putting two of these in the Lost Zone. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the... I was gonna grab the middle two, but I'm okay doing that. And actually, that's a very good decision that I just did right there. Now, because Path to the Peak is in play, my opponent cannot use this, and they can no longer use Dire, uh, dire Flame Wings. Now, what's bad for us is that Dark Patch is a thing, and this is exactly why I wanted to get the boss's orders. I don't mind taking 190 from a Moltres, um, but eventually, of course, I want to get rid of this thing right here. Aurora Burn is going to be really good for my opponent. Now, um, here's the thing. Here is my dilemma. What do I do next? Because I can go ahead and... I think it's going to be important for us to take this for now and save our boss's orders for later. So I guess what I can do here... I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to save the Ultra Ball for the next turn to see what it is we can do. And I'm okay with us getting rid of both of our grass energy. I'm okay with doing that because next turn we'll actually be able to take my opponent's card and that's gonna be that's gonna be a W. There's a super rod, so we can actually get our energy. I'm running four of these Mirage Gates. So I feel really good about the hand we got going right now. So we got 190, we have 110 HP remaining. So based off of that, 30, 60, 90, 120, 1, um, 150. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. We're we're actually gonna take an L right here. Our uh, Garatina V Star is gonna go down for obvious reasons. I miscalculated that on my end. Now the good news is, my opponent has two prize cards remaining. So what I can do here, I can go ahead and bring in a Nest Ball, bring in the Garatina V. I should have done this earlier. I don't know why I didn't do that beforehand. I feel okay with going in and um, getting these energy cards. I'm okay with leaving my two Garatina in there because we got one Garatina right here. And um, we're going to attach this. I haven't used my V-Star power, so next turn is going to be G's for sure. Now, I'm going to lost mine here. My opponent wins if and only if they have a boss's orders. It might have been worth taking this Moltres here, but all in all, I, I'm okay with the decision that I've made. I still win unless my opponent has a boss's orders, and I get the gut feeling, I kid you not, my gut is kind of twisting right now. Um saying that my opponent has a boss's orders. If he does, it's it's game over. There it is. There it is, I called it. Oh, we live by one. I actually mis misjudged that. So that means we just won. I'm okay with hitting the Mirage Gate right here. We're gonna get this and this. We're obviously gonna attach this here and um, we'll just do that. And we're gonna go ahead and just hit the Star Requiem. There it is, that's a W. We barely escaped the hand of defeat. That was a very good game. <laughs> game number one was actually really good. There's my Cramorant, Mirage Gate. And that's a W. We're off to game number two. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Tails. Let's see how much coin flips I get. So we're 50-50 for the night. I do wanna go first. This will ultimately allow us to set up our board right away. This deck doesn't mind going second by all means, but first is always an advantage. We do have him to mulligan uh, for turn number one. 
which I'm okay with because turn number one, the key thing is for us to get a comfy. If we can get a comfy, we can go ahead and set ourselves up for victory. Now, based off of my opponent's card sleeves, I would not be surprised if my opponent is playing a um, Qian Pao EX deck. Now, if that is the case, uh, Path to the Peak is going to be the key card here. If I can set up Path to the Peak sooner rather than later, this is going to be a good game for us. So we don't get another Path to the Peak. Um, this is actually not good. <laughs> not very good. I'm okay with going Cramorant. And I'm okay with keeping Manaphy on my hand for now. We're probably going to have to EO no turn 1. Well, technically turn 2, depending on what things look like. The bad news is that if my opponent starts with the Chin Pao, it's, it's probably a good game. So we'll see what my opponent has to start with. Oh, we're at a big disadvantage right now. Okay, so they start with the Freaky Backs. We get a Chloralist Experiment, which is actually not too bad. Now, because of the circumstances, what I would like to do in theory is attach an energy card to Cramorant just in case we have to retreat at the next turn. Now, I know I have the switch, but I want to save the switch in case I can get some comfy set up. So let's see what the next turn brings for us. And I don't mind attaching this energy card because we do have the Super Rod. So there's the Iridia. I would not be surprised if my opponent go ahead and um, grabs a Rare Candy and a, and a Baxcalibur. Now, as I've previously mentioned, if my opponent sets up the, the Baxcalibur, it's good game. The good news for us is that my opponent cannot evolve right now, so I'm more than likely gonna Eono this upcoming turn. We're gonna shuffle things up for a little bit. Palkia is a very big problem because if my opponent can evolve the next turn we're we're done and this is why i wanted to attach the energy it's like a security precaution because now if i get an energy i can attach something now good news i can go ahead and hit path to the peak i definitely want a comfy here and we're going to go ahead and set ourselves up with a i'm actually going to want to do this right away the sooner we can set up on my opponent the better it is going to be for us so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of my cramorant for now bring in the comfy and we're gonna hit the flower selecting the sooner we can get these cards out there the better it is gonna be for us now here i'm gonna have to get rid of this energy and hit the iono i think iono is gonna be more valuable to us this next turn than that energy would because um ultimately the goal is to have a hand advantage and the fact that i have a garatina v already i can go ahead and evolve to a v star and then later play the iono depending on what our next card brings now, uh, Bravery Charm isn't going to do good for my opponent in the event they evolve. And I got a feeling they're going to evolve. Now, um, unfortunately, they have another Iridia, which tells me that they're going to get the Braxcalibur. And they probably already have a um, gosh darn, <laughs> what's it called, Rare Candy on their hand. So there's a Nest Ball. I would not be surprised if they bring the Chin Pao here. Yep, there it is. Jin Pao is just good, even with the Paths of the Peak. Its attack is really, really good. So here comes the backs. And that's not good, because they have the switch. Depending on what they do with the switch, they're probably going to bring this in. If they bring this in, it's not going to be very smart. Okay, good. Now, they're going to have to get a Stadium card. This is where we're put at a set advantage because they can get rid of our Paths of the Peak. And for this very reason, I'm running two of these. Okay, super cold. I wouldn't even mind if they get rid of my Comfy. Well, actually, that's a lie. I wouldn't mind it. So roll the region. They're gonna go ahead and grab the Stadium card which is beach court. Now at this point in time, <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to give my, my opponent a hand advantage. I want to keep Path to the Peak on the field as long as possible because that's what's gonna determine the win con in this. Okay, so battle VIP pass is a thing now. I'm okay doing this. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the flower selecting next. Oh, I can't see my deck. Honestly, I grab the energy card. I grab the energy card every time. Okay, now that's gonna be turn. Next turn, what I'm gonna do if my Comfy goes down, I'm bringing the Garatina V-Star. The sooner we can get rid of this Origin Form Palkia, the better it's gonna be for us as well. The only bad news is that I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the Chin Pao yet. So here comes the Origin Follower and Palkia V-Star. Um, of course, Subspace Swell is going to do a lot of damage. What does this do? I forget what she does. Any number of water Pokemon and water energy. That is huge. That is not good. <laughs> that means I need another Iono. Not good at all. So here's the Luminion V. I don't know what other card they're going to get. Maybe if I can get a boss's orders, that'll be good for us. Maybe. This is a very bold maybe. But because we're, we were at a disadvantage since the first turn. And um, we're probably going to lose because of that. I wouldn't mind it. I would not mind losing turn one. Or game two. I don't know why I said turn one. So Subsay Swell is going to do a ton of damage. Ton, 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 ton of damage. And my opponent, if they wanted to with this, they can knock us out turn one. Well, next turn. I don't know why I keep saying turn one. My apologies. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the Comfy here. Chlorless Experiment is actually going to be really good for us. I want to bring this. I want to bring this. Yikes. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that for now. And I think we got rid of two of these. That is, I should have gotten rid of one of these. It is what it is. Um, what I want to do next is go ahead and hit the flower selecting here. We're obviously going to bring the switch nine times out of 10 over a battle VIP pass. Um, we're going to set another Garatina. Garatina we've established is our win con. And honestly, how much do I have? I got five. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. I'm going to go ahead and hit the switch cart. We're going to bring in the Garatina V-Star, and we're just going to go ahead and hit this with this. And we're going to lost impact. Get rid of it. Get some kind of advantage. And this Garatina, to be honest, is probably going to go down the next turn because of the Chin Pao. And I'm actually okay with it. Okay, another battle VIP pass, and we got another Comfy, which might be good. Now, the good news is we got another Mirage Gate on hand, and we have seven cards on the discard pile, or in the Lost Zone, so we'll be able to get rid of this Chin Pao, assuming I can get myself a Garatina V star. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. If I can get myself... Oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Origin Foam Parapio V. Um, now we definitely need, we'll see what we can get. We'll definitely see. Now I'm a little nervous, not even going to lie. This Chin Pao is definitely going to knock us out. Oh, Gyarados V or Gyarados EX. And this is terrestrialized. Concealed cards. Okay. This Chin Pao is going to hit hard this next turn. Very, very hard. There's an energy retrieval, which is actually a very good card. <laughs> Even if you don't got a discard, it's a really good card to have. Sometimes it's better than the superior energy retrieval, to be honest. Sometimes, not all the time. Now, super cold is going to happen. Um, they're probably going to start attaching to the Palkia. We're at a huge disadvantage now. They don't. They hit the Gyarados. Oh, that Gyarados is going to do a ton of damage. 
my opponent's gonna wreck me. Now, given the circumstances, I kind of wanted to get rid of the Chin Pao or the Palkia, but I want to get rid of this even more now. So we'll see. I'm going to have to bring in the Comfy, and I'm going to lay this other Comfy, and then we'll see what we can do or not do. Oh, that's a lot. That hurt <laughs> quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay, and Iono would be nice right now, kind of. It put us at a slight disadvantage. Another Mirage Gate. That's actually pretty good. What we're going to do is grab it. And we're simply going to place it here and here. What I want to do is also grab this. We're going to Comfy for obvious reasons. Um, I don't need the Greninja right now. But I don't think... Ah, we'll take the Mirage Gate. I'll go ahead and bring this in. And I would be okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We just misplayed and that costed us. Yikes. I should have, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was thinking that I had a Garatina V star and that's just gonna come back and bite us. It's done. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I think I just panicked. We panicked really hard, dude. We'll just get rid of one. We'll just do it. We'll get. We'll bring this in. I think even though I misplayed, I got rid of the energy. I got the Mirage Gate. Fine. Boss's orders might be good, but Chlorless Experiment is going to be a lot better. It's going to be a lot better right now. Okay, so we don't need. Let's see. Don't need that. Ah, I don't. I don't got anything good right now. Louse Vacuum is actually going to play very good right now because we can get rid of this gosh darn beach court. And we'll play another Comfy just because we can. We'll get rid of the Battle VIP Pass and we'll get rid of this beach court. Other than that, that's turn. Now, again, I'm at a very big disadvantage right now because I don't have a Garatina V-Star. And Garatina V-Star we've established is our win con. We're going to be in for a world of hurt if we don't get one soon. There's still a way for us to win this, and that's what I really like about the game we're on right now. We can still win this. Chances are slim, but we can win. Especially if I can get rid of that Gyarados. So there's the Palkia V-Star. We obviously have to save our um, Star Requiem if we are able to V-Star. This is going to be really hard for us. I don't even know how many energy cards my opponent has on hand. Star Portal is obviously big. This next turn is going to determine who wins straight up can we only play one of these per turn now it doesn't say boss's orders wow that's uh huge very huge <laughs> didn't we lose the last game because of boss's orders that's very frustrating we lost our win con is done done i'm telling you done let's see how much more energy cards you got on hand it wouldn't have even if i mis misplayed it wouldn't have mattered because you know boss's orders is a thing actually now that i'm backtracking we won the last game we almost lost because of boss's orders literally won by 10 hp <laughs> Okay, so they're going to have to get rid of 4 energy. No surprise there. They're probably going to get rid of the Chin Pao's energy. Yep. And the reason behind that is because this Waterfall card right here is going to 
The Gyarados with the waterfall attack is gonna pile up some damage, and then next thing you know, they can hit us for more. Whatever. Um, at this point, <laughs> um, I don't even know what to do, to be honest. We comfy, see what it is we can do. I already know there's nothing that we can do. There's an Eono, not that it would matter right now. We're out of Garatina B. Let's just grab this. I believe we're out of Garatina B because we're only running two and both of them are in the discard pile. The only way we can come back from this at this point is in the event we um, have a, a super rod. Let's see if we even have one available. We do. And we got three energy cards. Honestly, I'm out of ideas. Simply put, we're gonna have to bring in the... Maybe the Sableye. And then we lock him up with one card. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so we get something. Something's better than nothing. And I'd be okay with hitting up the Lost Mine here. It's gonna take us a while to come back from this, to be honest with you. We're gonna put the 12th here. Seven. So, 100. We'll just, we'll just pile it up here. 12. That means we gotta put five damage counters on it later. And then, I don't know, take something. We, we gotta take one of these. <laughs> we got to. I'm gonna try to take the Luminian first, and then I'm gonna try to take the Chin Pao. I just hope that they don't have any cards that will switch out the Chin Pao into the Gyarados. Because they ultimately, I got a feeling that they ran out of energy cards. And the fact that we locked them up with the Neono is actually kind of huge. So it just depends on if they can switch out, we're done. Shivery chill, I'm I'm almost certain that they ran out of energy cards. I can obviously be wrong, and if that's the case, we're done. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. This is a good game. Even though I misplayed a little bit, it's a really good game, and we're still in this. Like I said, it just depends on whether or not they have more energy cards. Okay. My opponent passes, there's nothing they can do. Just like just like we thought, right? That's going to be valuable. That's going to be very valuable. That's going to be very valuable as well. Now, here, we're going to have to get both Giratina. And by both, I mean these two. And we're going to get this. Now, at this point in time, we're going to have to continue hitting the Lost Mine. Because we're going to have to get rid of this. That's 160. We're going to put this here. And we're going to go ahead and just try to get rid of this by... I don't know, next turn, I believe. 150. I don't think we'll be able to do it next turn, but we'll see. Okay. So we're somewhat in this. We really are. We really, really are. Let's see. This deck is just good. It's so good. We're not we're not out of this by any means. Now, again, if my opponent is able to switch out, we're done for. Straight up. So this still has 150 damage, or um, HP remaining. Another Chen Pao is in play. That's not going to matter. What my opponent needs again is the gosh darn energy cards. Or a switch, if they even are running a switch. An escape rope, maybe? I don't know. They're running a switch. They probably have another one. If they got an escape rope, so... And that's what it comes down to. Out of their 19 cards, they might have another switch, and they might have another escape rope. We got a chance. We got a chance. We're not out. By any means, we're not out. And that's what I love about this situation that we're in right now. Now, another thing that we can potentially do, right? Let's say we get a Garatina. We can go ahead and hit the switch card, Mirage Gate, and that's game. So, the possibilities are endless for us. Come on, dude. I know you got nothing. What are you waiting for? Okay, we get another Mirage Gate. Nothing we can do except to keep hitting the Lost Mine. 
And I got a feeling my opponent's gonna concede this next turn. Thirty more. That's it, just thirty more. Oh, it's done, isn't it? We just we just got the W, boys. Heavy ball, that's not gonna matter at all. <laughs> that's not gonna do anything for you. That's it. We just won this. We came back. <laughs> that is insanity. Very good. I'm very pleased right now. Just concede, dude. What a comeback victory. I seriously thought we were out of it for a second. There it is. We're in for game number three of the night, evening, morning, whatever whatever time you're watching this at. And the first two games that we've had have not disappointed. I'm actually very, very satisfied with the first two games that we've had. If we can have another good game three, this deck is it's too good. I love this deck so much. I honestly love it better than the Maridon deck, and I think we're having better games than the Maridon deck. Comment if um, if you guys disagree, but I really feel good about this deck. Now, uh, speaking of which, in what is it? So today we are on the 22nd. It's only, I, I guess, um, the announcement I'm trying to make here is that in about a month, we're gonna have obsidian flames available to us comment down below which cards you are looking forward to using the most i can tell you right now myself charizard and i am not a big charizard fan but the charizard art that has been presented to us and the attacks that it has whew, i'm very excited to use that so we're against another chen pao deck let's see how this deck fares against two chen pao decks in a row so we're gonna go ahead and nest ball right off the bat. I think it's important for us to have a Radiant Greninja just so that we can try to get some cards. We have a Chloralisk, so is it really? I'm gonna say no. What do we got? We got a couple Switch cards, so Comfy is definitely the play. Now, here, we're gonna go ahead and hit the Flower Selecting. Garatina, 1000% of the time. We're never placing these in the Lost Zone. We're gonna go ahead and Switch Cart, bring this in. I'm okay with powering up the Garatina V. We're gonna flower selecting one more time. And obviously not against a um, rapid or fusion strike deck. So we're gonna get rid of, of the Drapion. And that's turn. I'm very satisfied with turn one of the game. Very, very satisfied. So there's the battle VIP pass for my opponent. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets set up with the Frigibax. And I was going to say Apalkia. Radiant Greninja will definitely get the job done for my opponent. Okay. Now, obviously, my opponent can use Chen Pao's ability. They're probably going to set up another Chen Pao. And now they bring in the Palkia. Shivery Chill is a thing. We don't forget about the Shivery Chill. If I can get a um, Path to the Peak, we're in for, we're in for a ride. We're definitely in for a ride if we can get the path to the peak. There's a bravery, a bravery charm for the Chin Pao. That's not going to matter considering if we can go ahead and, and evolve. It's actually going to be very good for us. Now, we're going to use this and Heavy Ball, see what we got in our prize pool. So, Boss's Orders is kind of huge. A Chlorus Experiment is kind of huge. Mirage Gate is kind of huge. And um, I don't mind the rest, to be honest with you. So, we're pretty happy with our prize pool, not even going to lie. So we're going to hit Flower Selecting. Um, we're going to get the Energy card. I don't mind the Iono right now. I, I, I really don't. We're going to bring that in. Flower Selecting one more time. Let's see what else we can get. Sableye is actually very good for us right now. We're going to hit this. We're going to hit the Experiments. This, this, and... Oh, definitely that. Um, I'm okay getting rid of the Radiant Greninja for the Mirage Gate. I really, really am. We're gonna go ahead and hit the path to the peak. Shut down my opponent right now. I don't want any of those shenanigans. 
Okay. And I think we call it turn for now. Okay. So, next turn, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to use the Comfy. Ah, uh, that is very unfortunate. I felt really good about Pats of the Peak, too. Okay, so now we got to re-strategize. Because Chin Pao setting up is always a possibility. And it's very scary when they do. Very, very scary. I'm not even going to lie. I think we got lucky the last game. The last two games, we've gotten pretty lucky. That's obviously going to knock out our comfy if you do want to do that. We got six in our prize pool. Okay. I'm okay with that because now what we're going to do, we're going to hit the comfy. We're going to hit the comfy and we're going to do other stuff. And by that, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. I want to get rid of this freaky backs. No doubt about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit the, the comfy. What can we get? I'm going to get the super rod. I don't mind not having the manaphy. Manaphy is not even a concern for me right now. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to chloralis experiments. We're going to get this. We're going to get this. We're going to get that. I feel good about our choices. We're going to bring in the Cramorant. We're going to um, leave Garatina V where it's at right now. And I feel good about hitting the switch. We're going to bring this in right now. And we're simply going to do this. And simply put, we're going to get rid of the Freaky Backs. We don't got 12 cards. I misplayed. I need to read. I really need to read. Okay. We're just going to do this. <laughs> and we're going to do this. Straight up. Please don't have the rare candy or the Brax Caliber. That's all I'm asking for right now. Okay. So they use Shivering Chill. Concealed cards, please do not get the card I'm thinking of right now, and I do not want to jinx it right now. Although I think I already did. Okay, Iono, I don't mind that. Depending on what my opponent has on their hand. Oh, uh, that's not good for us. Switch card might be. That's not good. Please give me a cordless alert. Coal rests. What are they moving? Oh, they're using Star Portal. Obviously, that's going to knock out our Cramorant. The good news is that my opponent doesn't have the gosh darn um, Baxcalibur set up, which is huge for us. Very huge for us. We're going to go ahead and bring it in right now. The Comfy, at least. Now, from here... From here, we're going to go ahead and hit the flower select and give me a Chloralist, please. That's not what I was hoping for. But I'll take the Comfy. And the reason behind that is because I'm going to bring it in. We're going to switch cart. We're going to bring it this in one more time. Give me the Chloralist. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Um, I actually don't mind this. I don't mind it one bit. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to do this and we're going to get the Garatina V-Star. That's what we're going to do. How much do I got? Now I got 11. I got enough to bring in the um, Sableye and hit Lost Mines. We're going to do that right now. We're going to do it. I want to get rid of this thing. Bring in anybody you want. I don't care who you're bringing. We're going to get rid of them right now. Okay, I'm cool with that. Give me your Friggy. Give me your Friggy. Four, seven, and I'm okay with putting damage counters here. We got another Sableye in the back. There's the Colorless. This is exactly what I was needing. Mirage Gate's gonna be huge next turn. 
Obviously, next turn, what we're going to do, we're just going to bring in the Chlorless. Straight up. I hope I disrupted my opponent's strategy. Really, really hope so. Go ahead. You're probably going to bring in the Chin Pao. Which, honestly, is not even going to do anything this next turn. I'm going to be able to get rid of that. Bring in another Friggy Backs. I'm totally down with you bringing another Friggy Backs because Chen Pao's not going to be able to do anything. Not right now, at least. And if my opponent brings in the Friggy Backs, we can, we can tie things up. So Luminion, my opponent already played a supporter, so I'm not too concerned about this. Boss's orders, wow. Okay, that I'm concerned about. Regardless of the matter, I still can get rid of the Chin Pao next turn. What are you bringing in? What are you bringing in? An Iono would be cool right now. Not even going to lie. There's the Freaky Backs. You're going to play it. I'm going to get rid of it with the Sableye. And I already gave you a fair warning. Okay. Depending on how we play things, we might be able to win this. Okay, my opponent saves their Friggy Backs, which is perfectly fine. Obviously, we're going to hit this. Sableye is good. This is definitely good. Oh. What do I do? What's in our discard pile? Just one energy, a couple of um, Pokemon. I think Lost Vacuum is definitely worth. I don't mind that. I do need this. We'll do that. We'll play another Sableye. We're going to put my opponent in a tough spot right now. We're going to place this. We're going to get rid of this. And we're simply going to get rid of this. Yeah. Less uh, damage counters. We're going to lost mine for obviously re obvious reasons. That's 200 and that's 220. Subspace Swell is definitely a thing for my opponent. But just in case, we're going to place that there. Okay. We got two more prize cards. There's another energy card, which um, I actually don't mind that one bit. Mirage Gate's going to be clutch next turn. I could, I could tell. I, I think we won this, to be honest with you. Even if you hit us with the subspace swell, I feel really good about things right now. I really do. You can boss his orders me if you want. I really don't mind that. If I were my opponent, I would boss his orders the Garatina. I'd play the Figgy Backs. That way my opponent places me on a corner. Do I want to, you know, retreat or do I want to bring in a Sableye and get rid of the Friggy Backs? That way, there's there's a lot of things my opponent can do right now. They have the hand advantage. They got the, honestly, they have the board advantage to, to an extent. Because this Garatina can hit me for some heavy damage. And put me in a corner. They just got to execute carefully. So there's the Manaphy. Honestly, Manaphy does not protect you from Sableye. Does not protect you from Sableye. So I don't care if you bring that in. And sealed cards is the thing. Bring in the Manaphy. I'll get rid of that and the, <laughs> the Freaky Backs. So Superior Energy Retrieval comes in. I really would not mind an Eo right now. I'm trying to manifest it. So my Eono, we got one of them in here. And I hate how slow this thing is to scroll, to scroll down. So we got two Eono. And I think we discarded. We got one more Eono in in here. Or in here. I don't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out shortly. So here, my opponent, I don't think they made the right move, if I'm being honest with you. So what we're going to do, we're just going to straight up hit the Garatina. Straight up. We're going to pat to the peak because even if you bring this in, you're, you're done. 
Now, um, what I want to do here, I'm going to attach this. I'm going to bring in the Mirage Gate. And from here, we're going to attach one to you. And I don't mind attaching one to you. And I don't even got to hit the Star Requiem. I'm going to hit the Lost Impact and I'm going to get rid of two of these energy cards. These ones right here. And honestly, that's game. I think that's game. Especially if you decide to blade down the Friggy Backs. That's game. We just won game three. And I feel really good about this deck. There's the Friggy Backs. That's game. Whether you get rid of my Garatina or not, that's game. There's nothing you can do. Straight up, nothing you can do. My opponent is going to concede. Can we get three concedes in a row? Maybe? Oh man, this deck still dominates. It's still really, really good. Honestly, Chen Bao decks, if they don't get set up with this card, or specifically the Bax Caliber, it's not going to do very good. Straight up. I'm going to tell you that right now. You can Super Rod if you want. It's not going to do any good for you. Next turn, I'm just going to straight up hit the Star Requiem. And that's going to be game for us. We got 16 cards. I keep forgetting that Sableye is the one that requires the 10. Okay. We just won. I don't know why you're doing all this if you've lost. Escape rope, that's fine. All I gotta do is this, and I, I'm still gonna get rid of that. Friggy Bax is mine. Straight up. And that's this right here. Okay, well played. We're done. My opponent didn't concede, surprisingly. Oh, spoke too soon. Okay, so we're on to the deck profile. Uh, this deck is actually very, very good. It's a lot better than I thought it would be, to be 100% honest with you. Um, I thought two Garatina of each was too little. Obviously, it's the perfect number. So, I mentioned that I was playtesting this deck before I actually hit the record button. Um... I built this deck straight up just like it is right now, and I have not made any edits, <laughs> so it's it's perfect. Now, we're playing two Garatina V-Star. This card is obviously the boss Pokemon of this deck. It can do so much damage. It can do anything you want it to. The Star Requiem ability is just too broken. We saw it earlier, I think, um, unless that's when I was playtesting. But basically, if your opponent has a VMAX Pokemon and you Star Requiem, you would take three um, prize cards straight up. Garatina V is pretty good. Abyss Seeking is a really, really good attack. You just got to be careful of when you place Garatina V on the board for obvious reasons. We're playing one Mana Fee. Um, this is kind of a staple in every deck because, you know, you want to protect damage on the board. Considering that you have one prize Pokemon or single prize Pokemon, um, you want to protect yourself against any Urshifus that may be looming around. I haven't come across any, but it never hurts to have a Mana Fee on your uh, board. Now, we're playing for Comfy. This deck um, relies on Comfy. Comfy is really, really good because not only does it place the cards from your deck or you know whatever however you want to put this into your lost zone you need to put cards in the lost zone specifically for this for this and obviously for this so the quicker we can get our lost zone set up it's going to be better for this deck additionally you can choose one of the top two cards of your deck with comfy it's so good drapeon v is there specifically for the um fusion strike pokemon um, and I'm pretty sure you all know exactly why I'm running this, so I'm not going to dive in too deep about this. I'm running two Sableye. Um, I was originally torn between one Sableye and two Cramorant. 
or one Cramorant and two Sableye. Honestly, I think the Sableye is a lot more valuable than the Cramorant. The Cramorant is nice to have, but honestly, 110 damage with, especially if you're going against a Chin Pao deck who can accelerate right away is not gonna do a whole lot. Sableye, on the other hand, um, I would say it did more than our Garatina V star in this in this video. Um, Sableye is a very underrated card. I really suggest that you guys have two copies in your Lost Box deck. We already touched base on Cramorant. We're going to touch base on Radiant Greninja. So Radiant uh, Greninja is a staple in every deck. Now, I don't mind having it in this deck specifically because we can get rid of, we're running six and six i don't mind getting rid of a couple of energy here and there because we got the super rod now you got to be careful right you want to be mindful of how much of these energy cards are in your prize pool and you want to be mindful of how much of these are remaining in your deck as you if as you saw in the video i decided to keep these in my hand more often than not because six and six right you need to have a perfect balance you need to balance these out as much as you can in order for this deck to be successful uh, because it's an even count right you don't want to have two of these in your price pool and then next thing you know you're putting these in the lost zone you're setting your, yourself for failure especially because you need these for him and then obviously these two uh right here now as far as my trainer cards go I am running two switch. There's a lot of switch thing th uh, things in this deck here. Now we're running two switch. Um, obviously, we want to get the comfy in and out as much as possible so we can accelerate the lost zone and get the cards that we're needing. Switch cart is there for that very reason as well. And to touch base, this is why we're running the escape rope as well. Escape rope is also a pretty nice staple to have anyways. Now we're running two ultra ball. Um, I think I was playing around with the um, with the trainer cards now that I remember and I think I played with three ultra ball and then four and then I found that two is actually a really nice number you only need two because of this because everything else can be brought out with the nest ball which we're running three of which and the reason we're running three is because we're running four battle VIP pass and honestly I, I I really love the trainer count in this deck. I think it's perfect as well. Obviously, you can always take things in and out. I'm obviously going to explain why I'm running things, but moving forward, we're running one lost vacuum. This card is actually really good. Gets rid of the stadium cards, get rid of um, any item cards that your opponent might have. I think it played a really important factor in uh, um, game number two against that Chin Pao deck um, when I got rid of the Brave Charm or Bravery Charm or whatever it's called. Lost Vacuum is actually a very underrated card to have, and I think it's a staple in every deck, given that Tool Scraper is no longer a thing. We touched base on Super Rod, but just to kind of remind you guys, we have it to bring this in, or one of these two, or obviously any card as needed. Battle VIP Pass is very good to have, especially when we can accelerate with Confi turn number one. It's a very good card, and um, honestly, eventually you can get rid of it with the Ultra Ball or you know whatever the case is for this experiment things of that nature you know obviously a staple um three is actually a really good number you can actually run two as well or even one but myself i love to disrupt my opponent's hand especially with all these chen pao running around you know your opponent can possibly be having an um they can be running an Ir Iridia. If they play it that turn, get a Rare Candy and a Bax Caliber. You can simply disrupt that with the Iono and it defeats the purpose. So it's such a good card to have. Um, Path to the Peak, actually, I added this specifically for the Chan Pao decks and the Maridon decks. So this card is very, very, very important to have in this deck. I think it should be added to most decks that don't have any abilities, just like this one. Um, I honestly would really encourage for most decks again to have this as long as they don't as long as you're not playing a deck that has a Pokemon with the rule box that has an ability or relies on the ability we're running two bosses orders honestly you can get rid of um, one of them as well and run one of them I like running two because I like having backups you know what if one of them is my price is in my prize pool what if one of them has to be sacrificed because of a chlorless experiment or whatever and we saw that earlier that's why i'm running two of them it's a very good card to have and i think any deck should be running two or three four is always i think overkill to be honest with you but 
Moving forward, we're running Temple of Sinnoh. This card is there specifically for the um, Fusion Strike decks. It's there for the single Rapid Strike decks, and it's also there for the Lugia decks. The Lugia decks we have seen get very, very annoying. Temple of Sinnoh shuts that down, assuming they don't get rid of the um, Gosh Dawn card. Now, with that here, we are running for Mirage Gate. I think it's a staple to have for Mirage Gate because you want to accelerate these. And this thing right here will get rid of two of your energy cards um, and place them to the lost zone. So you want to have energy acceleration. And this is kind of an energy acceleration for this deck. So it's really nice to have. Now, we're running three Nest Ball. We don't need to run too many Nest Ball. Um, I think three is the perfect count for this deck. We're running one Hisuian Heavy Ball in case we get turn one or whatever and we need to get a comfy out on board as fast as possible um click the wrong button here and then lastly we're running four color experiments i think it's self-explanatory as we're running four um i've been running four on most of my decks if not all of them over professor's research because the ability to look at the top five cards and then just choose three out of the out of the five is very very nice <laughs> without sacrificing cards in your hand it's it's a really good card to have and Again, I like to run this in most, if not all, of my decks. But there you have it. That's Garatina V-Star for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.